What's up you guys, welcome back and as promised in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a real example of when would you use inheritance. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little different because in the past tutorial or in the previous tutorial, I taught you like the main ideas of how would you use inheritance, but when the heck would you actually want to use it? So we're going to create a, a super class named person and a subclass named um, student and we actually going to inherit everything from person and we're going to allow the subclass student to access the information that the superclass has so it sounds a little weird but you guys you guys will get it so let's just type along with me so let's create a class named person and what person has is basically let's think of it this way what does a person has? <laughs> a person has name and birth, like a date of birth. So let's just create in instance variables real quick. Set that equal to name and copy that and set that equal to birth. So we have a constructor that will take name and birth as parameters simple enough now let's create another method that will allow us to get name and what this method is going to do is just going to return your name and let's create another method that will um, return your birth the date of birth when you came to this world <laughs> and Let's have it right here. Okay, so we just created a, a class named person and we have a constructor that will take name and birth and we have a method that will return name and another method that will return birth. Okay, so how is that relates to inheritance? Check this out guys. Check this out. So now we're going to create a new file and we're going to name it student and what we're going to do here is we're going to say from first which is the name of our file right here import person what this line of code is going to do is going to say okay whatever is in first all that stuff just bring it down here just literally import it so now let's create our student class. So student um, and student will inherit from person. So let's inherit everything from person. I'm just going to show you what this uh, what this um, uh, what this line of code is doing, and I'm also going to show you um, how inheritors how inheritors <laughs> how inheritors is be inheritance. Whoa, it took me a minute to pronounce this word. Is uh, is playing a big role of how we can actually reduce the amount of code that we're writing. So let's define our constructor real quick. That is not a constructor. This is a constructor. And for this one, just type in name, birth, and major. It makes sense because a student has a major. And let's create an instance variable for major and set it equal to major. So as you guys can see, PyCharm is automatically telling me, hey, uh, the person class has a constructor. Are you overriding me again? And uh, I'm going to show you guys what is it doing in one second. So now let's create the last method, which is uh, get major and what would this do is just return the major so and it is going to return the major okay good so now as you guys are uh, like learned from the previous tutorial you think whoa I don't know why I did this maybe I was excited or something <laughs> so you guys okay let me just show you so once we create an object and set it equal to student, 
Okay, student is expecting three parameters. The first is name. The second is when were you born, 1996. And my major is CS, and that, can, that stands for computer science. Now, it would seem obvious that I, I can do this. Mo dot get birth and run it. Oh, I was running the wrong con configuration and I'm supposed to be running student. Ooh, what happened? That's not, that's really weird. Because I thought that as soon as I inherit something from person, I would be able to access uh, the name and also to access get birth and like access everything in person. But why am I not? Uh, why I can't access get birth? Well, the reason why we can't access get birth is because of this. We did not tell Python to go to the super class and do the necessary things that you need to do and to get it back. And to do that, all you have to do is this. Super dot underscore underscore end and pass in the name and birth. And let's not forget to print this out. Because as you guys can see, the function is only returning. It's not printing anything. So now if you run it, boom, 1996. So what happened, guys, is basically this. We created an object named Mo, and we set it equal to, uh, to student and student is just a class. We pass it in three different parameters. Name, date of birth, and a major. It said OK. I'm going to take these three parameters and put them down here. OK, name and birth, I don't know what to do with them. I, I, don't, have, I don't have git name, I don't have git birth. I don't, what are you doing to me? Oh, you're telling that I have it in my super class? Oh, okay. So I'm going to go to my super class. So I'm going to go to my super class, go to my constructor, and put name and birth. Oh, okay. So now I can go back to my super class and I pass in name and birth. Oh, now name is self dot underscore name and birth is self dot underscore birth 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 blah <laughs> and now when I call this method get birth I can return it back again oh so this line of code right here is making all the difference guys if this line of code right here that didn't exist we won't be able to access get name and get birth because we are inheriting everything uh, from person, but when we passed in the arguments, we didn't pass in as person, like we didn't do this. We didn't say mo person and pass it in. We didn't do that. What we did is we passed it in in student, and that made a whole of uh, the whole, uh, like <laughs> that made the whole difference. Okay, guys, this is how. Uh, inheritance work and you guys can see how powerful and how effective it is if we didn't have this line of code right here we would have have like written all this again here so uh, I know you guys learned something and uh, I know in the beginning it could be a little confusing but uh, if you really didn't get it just like watch the tutorial again and uh, you'll probably get it but uh, if there is like something confusing or something like I didn't go over, uh, I might forget things. So you can just comment below and I'll, I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.